Welcome to Charm Health, your medical records management and practice management application on the cloud. In this video, we will go over how to manage patient recall in Charm Health. Automated patient recall system provides a secure and effective way to send email, text, and voice reminders to patients to schedule follow up appointments for office visits, lab tests, or procedures. Pending recalls can be seen in the new appointments window. While booking appointments, the front office staff can check pending recalls and mark them as completed. Topics covered include how to configure recall types, how to configure recall status, how to configure recall reminders, how to configure recall templates, how to add follow-ups during encounters, how to view and add recalls from patient dashboard, and how to generate recall reports. Configuring recall types. From the home screen, go to settings, then patient recall, then Recall Types. Click Add Recall Type. Enter Recall Type and click Add. You can also edit or delete recall types from here. Configuring Recall Status. Recall statuses can be configured from Settings, then Patient Recall, then Recall Status. Some default statuses are already available here and cannot be deleted or edited. Click Add Recall Status. Enter Recall Status and click Add. You can also edit or delete recall statuses from here. Configuring Recall Reminders. Recall reminders can be sent through email, or if you have the text and voice notifications add-on enabled, they can also be sent through text or voice reminders. From Settings, then Patient Recall, then Recall Preferences, Select if you want to send default reminders through email, text, or voice. You can choose multiple reminder types. Select how many days prior to due date you want each type of reminder to be sent. Email reminder content can be configured from the email template section. Watch the configuring email templates in Charm Health video to learn how to create email templates. Edit text and voice reminder content as needed. Words with the dollar sign prefix are placeholders, and will be replaced with real content when the reminder is sent. To restore default reminder content, click the Restore to Default option. Select if you want to mark recall status as complete once a reminder is sent. Then click Save. Configuring follow-up templates. You can create reusable templates for follow-ups under Settings, then Templates. For My Templates or Practice Templates, click Add New Template. Set template type as follow-up and click Proceed. Click Add Items. Choose a recall type. Enter notes for patient. Enter due date. Add multiple recalls if needed. Click Add when you are done. Then click Save. Adding follow-up during encounter. Patient follow-up can be added during an encounter from the follow-up section. Click Templates to choose an existing follow-up template. Check off all the follow-ups you want to add. Click Add when you are done. To add follow-ups manually, click Add Follow-up. Choose a recall type. Enter notes for patient, then enter due date. Select reminder types and when you want to send them. Your selections here will override your recall preferences under settings. Click add when you are done. View and add recalls from patient dashboard. Follow-ups added during an encounter are listed under patient, then recall section. You can filter the recalls by recall type or status. You can add new recalls from this section using the Add Recall button. Follow-up statuses are marked as pending by default and are automatically changed to completed once reminders are sent on configured dates. You can manually change the status by clicking the drop-down arrow next to it, or click the three dots next to it and select Mark as Completed. You can also edit or delete recalls from here. Generating recall reports. 
Recall reports help you get a list of patients for whom follow-ups were advised during encounters. From the home screen, go to Analytics. Click on the Custom Reports tab and select Recall Report. Filter report by recall type, recall status, due date, and provider. Click Generate. You can update the status of a recall by clicking the drop-down arrow next to the status. To send out a reminder to all pending recalls, click the Send Bulk SMS option. Enter the message you want to send. Schedule delivery for now or later. The SMS will not deliver to patients who do not have a mobile number in their patient profile or have the text notifications option set to No under Patient Preferences. You will be charged based on the number of SMS sent. Recall reports can be downloaded onto your computer by clicking the Export as CSV option. Thank you for watching this video. For any help, write an email to support at charmhealth.com. Follow us on our social media for the latest updates.